Good morning gardening friends. It's uh, let's see now it's the 2nd of March and uh, I'm gonna get started on uh, planting some of the stuff in the forward compartments of the uh, of the big planter. Um, I've already planted in the back uh, along here and as you can see I've actually created labels so these sort of give you an idea of what I've put in there. Um, in this first planter I have mixed marigold nasturtium, asparagus bean, and soybean, baby finger carrots, and mixed greens. Yes, that's an awful lot. We'll see how well it works uh, packed in that tight. Um, but that's the, the first one, and you can see I've transplanted some of the greens. The rest of it's just seeds, so I've got to wait for them to actually sprout. Um, but I planted most of that on the 29th. I just planted the nasturtium this morning just a few minutes ago. Uh, moving around to the other side, get the other part of the label here. I've got mixed greens, Easter egg radish, royal burgundy bean, and it's a little hard to see down there. I've got pole beans, just your standard green beans, and then nasturtium and marigold again. Moving around to this side, I've got mixed marigold, nasturtium, curly beans, which basically they're pole beans, but uh, I had some last year that had some weird sort of curling to them, so I saved the seeds in hopes that maybe they'll curl again. I've got wax pole beans, baby finger carrots again, and mixed greens again. So basically I've got mixed greens in three planters so far. Then we're off to this one here, which is going to be a little hard to see, but let me sort of give you real quick. That's my big lima bean that I've had sitting in a big pot for a long time. Uh, it's now in the big planter. And let's see if I can kind of come around and give you a view of the label. It's a little easier to see just reading it yourself. But uh, Easter egg radish, the big lima bean, nasturtium, and mixed marigold. Um, the mixed marigold is basically my, when I harvest all of my marigold uh, flowers that have gone by and I save them. And they seem to grow very well uh, from saving them that way. So that's what I've got in the forward planter. Sorry, I meant the back planter. Um, I've got to come up with names for all of this. But now for this forward planter on the front here, here is the same sheet printed out, the same, well, same type of sheet, and so I've basically developed a gardening plan. First time I've really kind of thought things through that carefully, trying to figure out in each one of these sections what will work together, which are compatible or companion plants. So. A couple I have not bought yet and I need to order, um, but in this first planter I've got Cherry Falls Tomato and the Tonda Parigi Carrot. It's basically, uh, let me see if I can show you actually, uh, where did I put it? <clears throat> this, these interesting sort of melon ball shaped uh, carrots, so that should be interesting. That's in this first planter, I don't have the cherry yet. But in this first planter, you can kind of see where I've dug a trench and I planted the seeds. So now it's just a matter of filling in the trench. And I'll start watering, and once I get the cherry, I'll drop it in here. And that basically is a falling tomato, kind of a binding plant, so it's going to come up over this side, and over this side is the plan. So that's that one. Um, then next to that, now, these are laid out in such a way that I can actually make these signs. So these are not, the first one is left to right, the second one is actually right to left. So I'm going to have lettuce, or mixed greens basically. Then I'm going to have chamomile, basil, and oregano, and then a tumbler tomato. And I wanted to show you the tumbler tomato. These things apparently are... Uh, <laughs> This is how it comes, just a tiny little package. It's like 10 seeds, and that's it. That's the whole shebang. So I'm probably going to plant ooh, half of them, I don't know, um, two or three across, because I know the plants are probably going to get fairly large, but I don't want to plant just one seed and then not have it actually germinate. So, um, But these are basically going to go right on the front of these two middle sections. So that's the tumbler tomato. Uh, so on the third section, it's going to be lettuce in the back, chamomile, basil and oregano, tumbler tomato. Basically, it's a repeat. The two middle sections are the same. 
Uh, and then in the last section, I have more of the Tonda de, de, Perig de Perigi carrot. Um, and I have that says around, basically because on the far end there, it says peach melbourne nasturtium. It's a different nasturtium. The, uh, the first nasturtium that I planted was cherry rose jewel. So the peach melba I'm going to order, and that's basically going to go on the north side of this planter. This is basically north over here. So that's going to go on the north side, so the carrots have already been planted around. I dug another trench and planted them. And then there's the pineapple you know, on the plan, the pineapple tomato. This is a 2010 pineapple tomato. This is its third year now. Um, it's still living. And in fact, there's a couple of little flowers back there. So who knows? Now that it's in a bigger planter and it's not restricted, uh, it wasn't too severely root bound when I pulled it out, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll actually get some more tomatoes off of this. Even just one would be nice. Just in case you're not familiar with cherry tomato seeds, these suckers are really small. And it's like, if they're expensive, don't sneeze. Okay folks, all of the transplanting and or planting is done. But the only thing you're actually going to see is some of the chamomile that I took from this planter over here. At least I'm assuming it's chamomile. <laughs> um, I think this was a planter where it was just like I wanted more chamomile because all my chamomile plants were dying and I sprinkled a bunch into one planter. Um, and I think I have some in other planters, but we'll see if it grows. Oh, so I got three there, three there. We'll see if they take. I also don't know how well they take to transplanting. So um, everything else is seed has been planted. Oh, and there was one, one of the mixed greens there. And an interesting sort of note I noticed on the package of the, the mixed greens seeds that it actually says only the ones you can identify from the above list. <laughs> so that's kind of an interesting. Uh, I'm going to have to be real careful before I pick them and eat them, I guess. Um, but anyway, so you've kind of seen this planter already. Let's try and do the rest of the garden now. We've got the chamomile. We've got what was the mixed greens planter. Let me actually straighten that up a little bit. Um, I don't know that there's anything else that's going to grow in here. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of leave it for a week or so. And if nothing else pops up, then I'll be able to pull this one off the wall and put the dirt somewhere. Um, got a big old bag of dirt in my way. So now we've got another planter with some kind of mixed stuff. Looks like chamomile. Looks like maybe carrot in there. Um, not sure what's growing right here. And then I've got some old basil. And it's it's gone to flower. So if you ever wondered what it looks like, what the flowers look like, there you go. Um, actually, when I, interestingly enough, when I put the basil together in the big planter, um, that was basil that I had harvested from those flowers. So I'm probably going to, if nothing else, save those flowers. Um, I let it dry out, and then there's little seeds that kind of fall out of there. Um, I'm hoping that that's the seeds for growing more basil, because I didn't buy any more basil, and I'm not sure which packet. There's a couple of packets in uh, inside my apartment that I'm not sure what they are. So I didn't want to put those in the garden and then find out later. So I did did put some seeds aside, though, and that's what I planted. Uh, we've got another planter with not much in it, except one marigold. We've got an old broom corn planter. This is the one that had the really tall one that I finally cut down. Um, the whole point is to try and clear some of this stuff off the rail. Uh, maybe free up some space along here, I don't know. Just trying to free up some space. I'm already considering the design for another planter to go right next to that one. Uh, looks like more chamomile along with marigold the tree slash bush. Le uh, lemon cucumber, actually I'll come back to the lower part. Um, the memorial planter, looking more and more like a marigold seed. Um, the planter with the marigold and the alyssum. The alyssum is really starting to, to pop here. That's what I gotta watch out for because this stuff will really grow like weeds. Um, the plant I still can't identify and at some point I'm probably just gonna do a video saying, help me identify my plants. Um, we've got more marigold. And coming back around, we've got the mutant zinnia. It keeps kind of falling over. I've got to come up with a bigger stake for this thing now. Uh, we've got the other tomato plant. Not looking quite as healthy as the one I just transplanted. Uh, looks like more chamomile along with broom corn and some other thing growing in there. 
Mutant Zinnia, the lemon cucumber. Mutant Zinnia, uh, stock and carnation, uh, of which I will probably take some of these now that they're getting that much bigger and use them in the hanging planters over there for the plants that still I keep trying to transplant in the bottom um, because some of the ones in the bottom died. Uh, and I, I've got a couple transplants to take but the others haven't taken yet so I've probably got about four of them that I've got to transplant and so I'm probably going to grab some stuff from this pot and try that now. Apartment mix. Uh, I'm guessing that's mutant zinnia. Uh, sugar baby watermelon. My kabocha squash. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm considering another planter. I want to have a planter that's big enough where I can plant some squash seeds and actually have them succeed. Uh, more apartment mix and a uh, basil plant. Uh, on that whole thing about building another planter, I'm actually considering not making the planter quite as big. So it might be if, if somebody's looking to build another planter uh, or to build a planter, this one may be more of a small to medium size. Um, I'm looking at making it about a 10 gallon, maybe a little more planter. So that's it for the patio. Okay, so we got the mutant zinnia plot, uh, pot, which has the other green that was growing. It seems to still be holding on, but it never ever really looked quite that good. I'm kind of wondering if it gets too much sun is the problem. Um, looking down below, no signs of anything sprouting from the enhanced apartment mix. Then we're on to the hanging planters, and you can see what I was talking about, that uh, the transplants just aren't quite working out. Um, actually, I hope you can see that. Uh, some of them are doing better up top. You get kind of an idea there. I'm going to go across to this one. Again, looks like the transplant didn't really take. And up top, there's not a whole lot to speak of. But we do have this one, which is looking beautiful on the bottom. That's calendula. Let's see what it looks like up top. We get a couple, ooh, looks like they're almost about to peek over the top. Let's see if I back up. No, you can't quite see them. But they're getting just tall enough that they're gonna peek over the top before too long. Contrast that with another dead looking uh, transplant. Um, that's three that are dead. Even up above, you can still see the mat itself and a little bit of growth, but not much. This one's a poppin'. I like that. You can see we got quite a bit of calendula growing in there. This was the original planting with the calendula. Let's see how we're doing on top. Not much to speak of. Okay, there is some. And then there's the one that everybody's going to see right at the office. The transplant on the bottom did take, thankfully, and that's marigold. But here's the really cool part. Look at all that growth. Won't be too, too long before it ends up over the top. Then we're on to the back side of the building. We've got the uh, stock, which was the first attempt at transplanting. That one seems to have survived. And we got some growth, not a tremendous amount, but some. We've got more calendula over here, which is the second transplant cycle. That's surviving. It's not thriving, but it's surviving. Let's see how we're doing on top. We got some growth. Keep in mind that we're not getting a whole lot of sun back here. Then we're on to this third one. Another. This is the last attempt at transplanting, and it seems to have held. So that's pretty good. That's uh, marigold. And a growth up above. Which looks like there's one leaf about to pop over the top. And the last planter. Again, a successful transplant. But not a whole lot going on up top. So that's it for the planters. And now the north courtyard. We've got another planter with apartment mix with probably broom corn is about the only thing starting to pop here. There was something popping earlier. It looked an awful lot like marigold. I don't know if they're getting baked or actually I can see the stem right there. I don't know if you can see it like I do. Right up above that uh, long piece. Sorry, maybe that's blurry. Anyway, 
Uh, the other plant, I can't identify. Then we're into the corner with the basket. I knew this one at one point, but anyway, that one's growing. Uh, looks like nothing out of a mutant zinnia planter. Um, a tree slash bush, don't know what it is, but it's still growing. Would you believe that's the same coyote squash I planted last year? Growing out of the ground, leaves are still alive. I don't expect anything out of this one, and I really got to cut part of that off. Um, more plants I can't identify. These I know are marigold. This was baby watermelon. I think that's something else on there. This was uh, basil and chamomile. More basil and chamomile. Some flower I can't identify. But it has those nice pink flowers. And the strawberry. Let's see how we're doing here. I could swear now I'm going to switch hands here, so pardon me. Jumpiness. There was, you can see a nice big flower there. If I lift this up, you can see one rotted strawberry, one green strawberry on there, and underneath there's one strawberry starting to grow. So this is slow progress, but it's progress. That's it for this episode.